Dude, come on, the beat was just about to drop. You need something to cheer you up. How about a joke? Let me see, um, oh, I got one. So there was this farm, and on this farm, the pigs and the cows were having this, uh, turf war of sorts. It was getting out of hand. Innocent animals were dying on both sides, so the pig and the cow meet up to go talk to the only neutral party on the entire farm, the farmer. So, the pig goes up to the farmer and gives him the rundown of the situation, asking him whose side he's on. So, what does the farmer say? Holy shit! A talking pig! Elliot, what do I always say? Elliot? Ain't no love like your brother's love. What was that? Nothing. I believe it's been just two days since we last met. Correct? And in our last session, you had said you'd been getting better, like you were starting to feel like yourself again. Elliot, I can't help you if you're not being honest with me. You have refused to take any of the medications that we have prescribed for you. You have refused to cooperate with me, and clearly you have refused to be honest with me. Elliot, we've gone through this a hundred times. There was nothing you could do. The situation was entirely out of your control. I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through. And how you feel. But I can tell you this. Taking this anger out on other people will get you nowhere. You sent that kid to the hospital today, Elliot. His own parents couldn't even recognize him when they were wheeling him out of school. I had to beg your school for a suspension so that they wouldn't expel you, not to mention the fact that this kid's parents could still press charges. <clears throat> you need to be honest about how you're feeling so we can prevent these things from happening again. Do you have an understanding? Yes. All right, good. Do you still see him? When was the last time? Saw him in the waiting room before I came in. Elliot, the only way he will go away is if I you learn him to go away. I completely understand why you don't want him to go. But if you don't accept that he's gone, you'll feel like this for the rest of your life. Thank you for your time. Sweetie, how was your session? Session was great. I'm gonna head home. Elliot, please let me drive you. It's such a long walk. I do it every day, Mom. I'll be fine. Elliot, please. I know how much this might scare you. It doesn't scare me. For once, can we please just have a normal dinner? We don't need to talk about it. I disagree with that. What 
you did today was serious. Elliot, maybe, maybe you should be going to Dr. Buckley more often. You're obviously still hurting and I wish I could be more helpful. And this is her level of expertise. Well, she's doing a fantastic job, isn't she? Elliot, baby, I just want what's best for you. I love you so, so much, and the last thing I would want for you is something to happen. Your brother wouldn't want this. What do you want? Baby, I just want to see you happy again. This isn't happy enough for you? No, definitely not. What... What you did today, it was... It was scary. You could have... Felix loved you. I love you. Why? I why what, sweetheart? Why do you love me? <laughs> what do you mean? Why do you love me? I don't. You don't what? You don't love yourself? I HATE MYSELF! Every time I look in that mirror, I can't even look at myself without feeling it. Feeling what? That I killed it, Mom. I was driving the car. Me. Not you. Me. When I woke up, he was dead, Mom. He... <laughs> I, yeah, his neck was snapped, Mom. The blood was draining out of his ears. I saw his brain, Mom. His head was split straight open. His fucking brain! You want, you want me to move on. Every, everyone wants me to move on, right? And act like nothing ever happened. Well, I can't move on, Mom. I can't get the fucking image of him out of my head.
pinches. Yo. Bro, you look horrible. Thank you. Should I ask what happened? Taylor and I are no longer together. Good for you, man. I didn't have the guts to tell you this, but we all hated her. Good for you. She broke up with me. What? What? Who's we? What do you mean we all hated her? Oh. My bad. Oh, what was that for? Snap out of it. So what if she broke up with you? It's her bad. If she doesn't see how awesome you are, then... She should be the one moping around, and, and not you. You're a free man now. I think I loved her. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. My bad. Now, say you did love her. I got news for you, man. Want to know what it is? What is it? Repeat after me. Okay. Ain't no love. Like a brother's love. Jesus. Dude! Say it! Ain't no love like a brother's love. There you go. Louder! Ain't no love like a brother's love. Louder! Ain't no love like a brother's love! That was it. Now, if you don't get out of here in ten minutes, Mom gave me the okay to kick you out and bring the hose in. So I suggest you get your booty out of this room right now. You know, love like a brother's love.
What was that? What do you think? I think you're an ass if you're actually planning on leaving mom like this. I mean, you're all she has left. Unless dad decides to make some guest appearance, which for some reason doesn't seem very likely. Talk to me. I had a lot of time to think last night. About me, mom, you. Everything that I've put everyone through. I figure I owe it to everyone to get better. It's just hard. I've been trying to pinpoint exactly where things started to go wrong. Was it when that drunk guy hit us? Was it when my friends invited us out to go to dinner that night? Maybe it was when that guy had his last drink. The one that tipped him a little too far over the edge. The crazy part is it goes back even further than that. Maybe if that drunk guy was never born, he'd still be around. Maybe if I wasn't born. Don't say that. Even the smallest, most minuscule thing could have saved you. I mean, if we'd never left the house, you might still be around. Yeah, that's true. But maybe that guy would have hit somebody else. Maybe he would have killed a toddler. Maybe he would have killed a whole family, you just can't think like that. What happened, happened. Maybe it happened for a reason. Maybe it didn't, but it happened. Do you remember that one day when I begged you to come here with me to go fishing just to impress that girl? You came here with me, despite how much you hate fishing. You came and you fished your heart out. Correct me if I leave anything out. But on that day, I was sitting up on that ledge, right up there. I thought I looked cool, which I probably did. You didn't. Appreciate it. Regardless, shit happens. Next thing I knew, my ass was in the water. I landed on my stomach, and from 30 feet up, the fall knocked the air right out of my lungs. I thought I was dead, for sure. I couldn't breathe. I was panicking, flailing my arms around, trying not to drown, looking like a complete idiot, I'm sure. You did. You jumped in and saved my life. You jumped in and saved my life. You were in trouble. No one else was helping you, so I stepped in. Exactly. And today, I'm repaying my debt. Felix, I don't need that. It wasn't you, Elliot. If you won't forgive yourself, if for your own sake, do it for me. I can't live my life anymore, but you can. Live out your life like I'm still there. Because I won't be. Don't hold back. Not even for a second. Be there for mom. You don't know how much she needs you right now. Be there for her. Don't do anything stupid. Do you understand me? Yes. Do you understand me? Yes. You know I have to go now. Hey, Elliot. What do I always say? Ain't no love like a 
brothers love.